the transfiguration on the cross uh, on the stake? <laughs> um, what was happening for you emotionally? The transfiguration was an event that happened three and a half years before I died. Um, and what happened there was that I had three disciples with me, John, Peter and James, and, uh, and those, those three came up to a mount, the mountain with me and for the first time two spirits had entered the celestial sphere state. This was after I'd entered the celestial sphere state. Moses and Elijah had entered, Elisha had entered the, spirit, the celestial sphere state. And what the transfiguration was about was to display to people on earth, but also to people in the spirit world, that this new spiritual condition was available to them, of divine love entering the soul to abundant with God. And so Moses and Elijah, Elisha, sorry, um, di um, displayed as spirits what it was meant to be at one with God, and I displayed as as a person on earth what it meant to be at one with God. Um, which is the reason why all of our bodies all brightened up and, and uh, we displayed our, our normal condition in that state. So, that, so when you're in a normal state uh, spiritually, you, you detune your state to suit the surroundings. But once you're in a one minute state with God, you can actually have all of the energy from God passing through you and actually show that to everyone around you as well. And I did that just to three of the disciples. But... The, the two spirits, Moses and Elisha, did it to, um, to the spirit world, de demonstrating that condition. So when you were on the um, stake and people were looking at you, you know, and how it says in the Bible that was happening then, and people... And the yeah, and it wasn't happening then. Okay. Yeah, no, that was, a, again, a, um, from any, anybody looking at me on the stake would have just thought that I'm a normal person, uh, aside from, as Corny noticed, the amount of love that I was coming out of my feelings, um, they would have just felt me to be a normal person to look at um, who was dying on, the, on a stake. And what was happening for you emotionally? Like, did you still feel the connection and that this was evolving as it needed to? Yeah. yeah. Well, when you're in a at one minute condition, um, God's love doesn't leave you for any event as long as you just keep staying open to your emotional condition. And so, um, yeah, the entire time I was on the stake and the time I was tortured before then as well, um, I could maintain that connection with God.